one of the big things that's been the news, I think, in both our countries is the fact that the UK and Australia have entered into a, a new trade agreement, uh, which is probably very logical as it's, it's two probably some of the closest countries in the world, as long as we don't talk about sport, of course, in which case it all goes uh, a little bit. Um, yeah, yeah, let's not do that. Um, however, it's it's really exciting new trade agreement, and uh, I'd just be interested to explore from your angle. Uh, what do you think the trade agreement might offer us uh, between the two countries, and how could this benefit people relocating? Yeah, so we, it's something to be quite proud of, and I think that it's a testament to the um, civil servants in both of our governments who continue to do really good work despite what might be happening. Um, in Downing Street or in Canberra at any given time. Um, you may recall probably just sometime in December, May 2021, I think it was, uh, Boris Johnson and our then Prime Minister Scott Morrison standing in um, the garden of Downing Street sharing, I don't know, Marmite and Tim Tams or something like that. Something so other, they were yeah. very proud of the fact that it was the first free trade agreement that was um, drafted after Brexit. Um, yep. It makes sense. There's an awful lot of trade going in both directions and obviously our long history and movement of people. Um, mm. And actually, I think it's something to be really um, excited about. There are a lot of um, easings, not only of regulatory things like, you know, customs tariffs and things like that, but also on the movement of people. So, for example, the working holiday visa, um, now goes from 30 to 35, which is great. That's an extra five years worth of age that, people, that employers can tap into. They can now come for three years, not two. And in the past, they used to, British um, working holiday makers used to have to go and spend a time, six months working in the farms, collecting right. strawberries and stuff like that. And that's also been abolished. So that's great. Um, and I did read, as I was saying, the um, Accenture CEO was ref referencing it recently, saying they might start some formal rotation um, of the younger workers um, between the two um, office locations even more than they already do. Um, mm -hmm. Other things include um, uh, skilled migrants um, are now able to come over for four years, not two, with their families. So that's great um, because if you're coming to the other side of the world, two years goes really quickly. So yeah. um, they can actually affect decent amount of change. The other thing is that it will no longer be a requirement that um, the employer has to prove that they couldn't find an Australian to do the job, which is what it currently is. So they will just be able to bring people in. Well, that's huge. And it's so right, isn't it? I mean, yeah. so they can, uh, uh, any employer can look at the uh, Australian market and the UK market in parallel, basically, and Correct. try and identify the best talent. And, and the same in reverse, obviously. In reverse, yeah. Yeah. And then there are certain regulated professions which um, are going to be recognised, mutually recognised now. So architecture, um, law, um, audit, um, things like that. So that will make it much easier for people to practise and do their work in the corresponding mm. countries without having to resit, you know, lots of exams or not be or being restricted in the work that they can do. Um, and they also, as with everything, there's always this stance on sort of tech startups and um, mm. SMEs and things like that. So they're going to make it easier for companies to invest in each other's com countries and send those senior management people in. Because other in the past, they were kind of rather stymied by the regulations because they, you know, their startup phase, et cetera, et cetera, they may not meet all the requirements. It doesn't mean that they shouldn't um, come in. So I think there's there's really quite a lot in there, actually, when you when you take it into consideration.